Hello everybody, this is Janice, and I'm back um, with more of these tags that I've been making. If you've seen a couple of my videos, uh, my previous videos, I was inspired by Jana Eubanks to make these technique tags on how to embellish your Cricut cuts. And I am having, I'm having such a great time doing this. And um, I used, so far I'm using the Just Because Cards cartridge. I found that that's where she got her cuts from. And so I was inspired from that. So I said, well, why change that? She um, did this little bee for stitching on hers. And she did machine stitching on hers. And I don't have a sewing machine any kind of sewing machine so I decided to make the little holes with my cutter bee bugs the one that has the two rows of holes and I just kind of crisscross stitched these and this is embroidery floss that I dyed with mustard seed um, distress stains I got the three pack today from Michaels with the uh, mustard seed. I got the barn door that I really, 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 really wanted. Love that red. And it came with faded jeans too. Those three. And I used my 40% coupon on that. So I did that. And it was a little time consuming. So I would probably do that for a scrapbook page or something. Maybe not so much for a card. And, um, Linda Lapp asked if she had missed something. I, she said I skipped a bunch, and I did show some of these, but I'll, if you're just joining me, I'll just go ahead and go through each one. Um, here's my flocking, and I showed how to flock yesterday, so go one video back if you missed that. Lots of fun to flock. This was a little um, tutu that I made out of ribbon and this stuff here. I'm not sure. You know, um, somebody asked me about my wide angle lens. This is what it looks like, and I don't have it on here now, but I do find that it does improve the quality of the video. Um, I think you can see a little better detail. And I, um, we found it on Amazon, and I don't remember, I think it was under $30. Maybe, like 20 something dollars. So that's where we got it from. Somebody asked about that. And um, this was my glossy accents example. You can see I glossy accented the tires and the window of the truck. This was my chalking example. Just kind of added some shading with chalks. This is my doodling example. And I used the glaze pens for these and some stickles and uh, fabric dimensional paint. And then this was an example showing solid versus pattern paper. So pattern paper and the solid. And this is vellum for glass. And on the other side is an acetate for glass. And then the punches. Okay, so I asked about what you guys think about um, how to adhere vellum. You know, and I want what I did was on the other side of this I adhered these little hearts that I punched with a Creative Memories punch and um, I did use my Xyron create a sticker for that and I know Jess, um, Jazzy Jess, she told that's what she said that that's what she does and so um, that's what I had done this morning and I read your comment a, a few uh, a couple hours ago and I saw that that's what you suggested and that is exactly what to do so that worked and then trims and decorative scissors. I trimmed, when this cuts on the Cricut, it just cuts straight here, a straight triangle. So I took a decorative scissor and just trimmed along there to add a little more detail. And then this is just a trim on my scraps. And I ran the background through the Divine Swirl Cuddle Bug Embossing Folder. And then this one is um, an embossing folder. I just did the Swiss dots. This is the back side, so this is the debossed side. Okay, and then this is the emboss side for that. And then pattern stamp. I have lots. This is something I do. This is probably my favorite technique to use is where I just take plain cardstock and I jazz it up by stamping it with a background stamp. And so that's what I did. I used, um, I got this stamp at Michael's for $2.99 last week. And then this one is was a dollar one that I unmounted 
from the wood and put fun uh, clean foam on the back. And and I did stamp it with distress. You know, this was barn door, and I think that was um, something moss. I can't remember right now. And then um, the little bird, I ran through the crimper. And I used a piece of twine, or a piece of jute, as a worm in the little black bling. There's a dog barking outside, and my son is very scared of dogs. I hope everything's okay out there. So that's, what I, that's where I've gotten so far. I have a whole lot more to go, I'm happy to say. So today what I'm going to do is something totally new to me. Jana inspired me to get the glue pad. This is the um, Sukaneko one. There's a Hampton Art one that's quite a bit less expensive than this one. But in my life, what I've learned is that you get what you pay for. So even though Hampton Art is a good brand, I just wanted to go with the better name. So I don't know. I may have made a mistake, but I know these guys. I know they, you know, their quality. So basically what you're supposed to do with this is you have to apply the glue and this glue pad, there's no heat required. I ordered that one that was on Blitzy, the black one that um, you can use for gold leafing and stuff like that. That one you have to heat, this one you don't have to heat. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do this. It says you have to apply about a teaspoon of glue. And you just do a swirling motion. And um, I don't know what dog is by. We do not have a dog. Can you hear that dog in the background? It sounds like it's in my garage. I hope my son is okay. He is scared of dogs. I don't know why. I think it's just because... He doesn't like it when they jump on him. He's more of a cat person who, you know, cats just kind of, they're more mellow. So, yeah, but anyway. I had a fun time shopping with um, Rosemary. She is a student. She's taking my um, scrapbooking design and you SDU class at Michael's right now she is um, really fun girl, you know young woman and she um, we went shopping together today <laughs> she likes the scrapbook I tell you she has a passion she likes it a lot like I do okay so that's it so I'm just I mean I'm guessing I don't know I've never done this before if I'm doing it wrong please let me know um, my fingers are sticky so I'm just letting you know because maybe you don't have this and you want to know all these things so I'm going to use a baby wipe clean it off and then I'm going to get this stamp that I got at Michael's it's the um, their Hampton Arts and I'm going to put the stamp down here and then I'm going to stamp the glue here. I really should have my glitter ready. And you're supposed to cover it just like your stays on. You're supposed to cover it like that. And then I'm just going to rub it. And there it's nice and wet I don't know if I could do a couple applications you know a couple stamps from it I'm going to waste it I'm just getting my glitter I should have done that now. but I didn't um, I don't even know what I want to use Maybe, oh, this. this is like an iridescent color. And then I need my little sheet of paper that I use to capture it. And I'm just going to cover it completely and mash it down. Technical term, mash it down. And voila. 
very nice. Don't you love it? I love it. Yes, I do. That is awesome. Man, I have, hmm, I have wondered about that glue pad for years. Let me tell you, years. That's fantastic. Now, the test will see just how well it you know how quickly it dries and how well it stays on there and all that but that is sensational okay and then I'm gonna cut off this comes with a stick but Jana also inspired me to get actual little mini craft sticks I got mine at Walmart and you can just stick it stick it there I think I'll just use some of my glue dots that I I made from Aileen's Tack It Over and Over Again. So I'm just getting a few here. Okay. So there's the glue dots. And I'm just gonna kind of stick it on there. Okay. And glue here from Tuesday morning. Okay, so that's going to be my glitter, my glue stamping, that's what she called it, or glitter stamping, yeah slash glue pad so I'll do that there here's my tag oh and then somebody else asked me where I cut the tag from this is from the sweet treats cartridge that cartridge has tons of cute 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 tags so so there we go I'm wondering what would happen if I just I have this little bit of glue that, or glitter that fell there. Just gonna stamp it. Get a little bit of glitter on that. And then we'll put some glue on it. Just a little drip. So that goes probably <clears throat> that right there. And I'm going to put hmm, some foam on the back of this to get it to adhere. Oh, see, that wasn't dry right there, and I rubbed it off. So it's probably a good idea to just let it dry and then I will glue it down. Yeah, I rubbed I rubbed that off, so there we go. I learned my lesson. Okay. So um, I will tune in. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and try some different techniques and show you some more tags. So thanks for watching.